Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. And hey, we're going to be starting a rotisserie series uh, this week. We're going to be doing rotisserie on several of our pits. And today we're going to start off with the Napoleon Prestige Pro 665. I've had this grill for quite some time, and I've done a couple of cooks on it and things, but I haven't cooked on it as much as I would like to. So I think this is going to be kind of the summer of gas. We're going to use this as much as possible this summer not neglecting our pellet and our uh, charcoal grill stuff, but I definitely want to get to know this a lot better than I do know how to use it. So it's got a lot of bells and whistles, a lot of advantages and stuff. And one of them is the rotisserie feature, which is what we're gonna be doing today. So today we're gonna to be doing some rotisserie beef cubes. I got uh, two packages of beef cubes and we're gonna season them up real good and we're gonna to toss them in the rotisserie. We're gonna let them go and cook low and slow um until they get nice and tender and cooked all the way through i guess my hope is to try to simulate something like um burnt ends however of course we know that it won't be actual burnt ends it'll just be rotisserie cooked beef but we'll see how it turns out see if it's something worth keeping in the repertoire okay so that's enough talking let's go ahead and get this bad boy prepped up let's get the rotisserie spinning around around and let's get some propane in the air all right, guys, so here we have two and a half pounds of Angus beef, beef cubes, all right? So they've already been rinsed off and everything. Some of them even got some fat on them, so some of them was pretty hard, so I'm not sure if that's going to render or not, because it's probably going to be a pretty quick cook and stuff. So, But we're going to season these with um, a combination of black pepper, kosher salt, garlic powder, chili powder, paprika, and then we're going to put a little heat on them with some um, frag out flavors reaper dust not too much but just enough to give it a nice pop all right so and i want to season these pretty liberally because they're going to be going around in the rotisserie and so i didn't put any type of oil or or any other type of binder except for the moisture that's in the meat so um i want to season them pretty heavy in in the event that some of the seasoning falls off during the, the rotisserie process all right so all right so that looks pretty good it smells good already all right so now we're going to hit it with just a little bit of frag out flavors reaper dust the wife loves this stuff this stuff is pretty uh has a nice little kick to it but i don't want to hit too much because I do like spice, but I don't like it as much as she does. So, all right. So we're gonna cover this up. We're gonna let this get happy, and we're gonna go ahead and prep our rotisserie. All right, guys, so we got our beef cubes in the rotisserie basket, okay? So we'll come back and check them in about 45 minutes or so. 
I do want them to kind of char to get a little burnt on it, you know, to simulate burnt ends. So we'll see how long we have to cook these for. They're looking pretty good going around in the basket. Hopefully I don't have too many in there. Um, but we got the fire set pretty low. I'll have to monitor the temperature to see um, if I can maintain somewhere in the neighborhood of 275 to 300 degrees. So that was close to top. Maintain some heat. And we'll come back and see what we get in about 45 minutes. Oh, stuff blowing everywhere. All right, guys. So these have been on for a little over an hour at 400 degrees. We want to spritz them right quick. This is a just a combination of water, soy sauce, and Worcestershire sauce. Just trying to keep them moist. Um, I think it would have been nice if I had taken a couple of strips of bacon and threw in there with them. It would have added some uh, that bacon grease as they go around. All right, so we're gonna try to open this without burning ourselves and put on some heat resistant gloves. Pop the top, see what we got here. It's still kind of tough. It's still kind of tough. So we're gonna let them ride out a little longer. Yeah. Mmm, it tastes good though. All right, guys, so these have been on for about two and a half hours. We're going to go ahead and check these again. Go ahead and turn it up, the rotisserie off. We're going to get our heat resistant gloves on again. They got a nice dark color to them, too. I'm definitely interested in seeing what these taste like now. All right, so we're going to open up our basket. Wrap one of them out. Not bad. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they're getting a little bit tender. Oh, yeah, they're coming right apart. So, it's tasting. I think they can do with a, another half an hour. Pop this closed. Start it up again. We'll take them off in about 30 minutes. All right, guys. So, like I said, we're going to let these go around for another 30 minutes or so. But it's one last thing I want to do to these. We're going to pour a little sauce over these while they're spinning around so they can coat. And I'm going to see if we can get this this damn top back on here kind of one of the drawbacks to the napoleon basket and snap there we go all right going around and around and we'll close it up and we'll see what we get in about 30 minutes all right guys so it's been uh three hours or uh, three hours and some change that we've had these uh angus beef cubes on the rotisserie so we're going to go ahead and take them off and we'll see what we got all right, so we're gonna remove this pan here. Should have added more water to that just to make it easier to clean. We'll get our little disposable silver pan here. Pop the top. And then we're gonna pull our rotisserie rod out a little bit. And we're gonna dump them in here. I got losing a few. All right, I'll give you a look at what they look like. All right, guys. So here are our rotisserie beef chunks. And they shrunk a little bit. Of course, that was expected. Dark color. That's what I was looking for. So hopefully they're not too tough. We've been spritzing them. And then we put a little coat of sauce on them. So 
All right, time for a taste test. Let's see what we got. All right, guys. So we got our simulated burnt ends here. And um, they fall apart pretty easy. They still a little tougher, uh, tighter than I would have liked. I won't say tough. I said tight. So, uh, But they pull apart a lot easier than they did when I first tried them. And the flavor in the chew is really good. Just need a little bit more moisture in them. But all in all, these are really good. I can never make a burnt in sandwich out of these. Or a lot of you guys say those aren't burnt in. So I'll say a Angus beef rotisserie chunk sandwich. So, but these are really good. So I think the next time that I do these, I'll do one of two things. I'll cut up some bacon and throw in the basket with the cues. That way the bacon grease from the, from the bacon will probably keep the beef nice and moist and also probably give it a much, much different flavor. Or two, I have a can of beef tallow up in the cabinet. Next time I make, coat these with beef tallow, then season them and then put them in a the rotisserie basket and see if the beef tallow is successful in keeping them moist. So... I guess duck fat would probably work also, okay? So if you have any ideas on how to improve this, hey, hit me up in the comment block, okay? But, um, hey, that's about it. Hey, uh, like I said, this is the first of our rotisserie series. So hopefully we can get a rotisserie video out uh, each week. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for joining us today. Hey, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the like and the bell notification so you know when we put our, our videos out, okay? And like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there or a rotisserie. Taking your Angus beef chunks round and round. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. But they're good. Definitely good. Cheers.